Snow on the Pyrenees. Placed to the north of Spain and to the south of France, between two seas, we find the scene of all winter sports. The high Pyrenees, which cover many landscapes, famous in history. The provinces of Navarre, Aragon, and Catalonia. The great Pyrenean mountain range, as if in the profound lethargy of a prehistoric animal, slumbers over these three regions. The passing of the centuries has left in the mountain range enormous crevices, relics of ancient wars, hidden behind deep ravines in beautiful valleys. These are the Pyrenees, which, extending from the Mediterranean to the Atlantic, lift their rugged and rocky mountains, forming thousand-year-old glaciers between Spain and France. With an insatiable desire for height, the men of the Pyrenees have placed their villages on the crests, impregnable natural strongholds where they cultivate minute plots. These stretch with their animals over the impressive emptiness full of agreeable surprises. The snow crowns all the peaks of its whole length and it is a meeting place of sportsmen from all over the world. They meet principally in Candanchu, in the region of Canfranc, and in the Molina, near Puigcerda, the centre of the Catalonian Pyrenees and the limit of the three provinces of Lerida, Barcelona and Girona. the steep descents, the skiers have a white sheet with the marks where their skis have passed. It is the song of the mountain, the symphony of vertigo and speed that contrasts with the stark landscape.
the late afternoon overcomes man and puts an end to his sport, forcing him to take shelter from the cold and giving him the chance for conversation. There are many lodgings for the skiing fans who gather together to discuss merrily their exploits and accidents and prepare for the difficult excursion of the following day. Chu, more rugged and impressive because of the difficult terrain, the skiers slide from the platform and glide gently down the slopes. The preparation for the descent, the wax on the skis, the adjustment of the straps and the search for companions to make the descent with, or simply to get a good observation point. All these things engage the sportsman as in a theatre interval. Quaint villages house the men of the mountains who with slow steps tug the reins of their beasts of burden or go about looking for lost lambs. Villages going to sleep in the silence 
and leaving the giant at rest, scarcely disturbed by the cry of the animals or the sound of running water, awaiting the rising of the sun.